Hi! I bet every year you know at least one person who said, I didn't have time to get out my Christmas cards. I'll have to send a New Year card. Well, you know, that happens even to us card makers. So if you find yourself in that situation, I have some really good news for you. I've designed a clean and simple card with the Cheers to the Year stamp set that is so quick and easy to make that you can wait till after Christmas and still get them out in time. Welcome, I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. You know, the Cheers to the Year stamp set, it has two Christmas and a New Year greeting, and my clean and simple card design will also work well for a Christmas card. So that means you could plan for your Christmas cards, and if you run out of time, boom, you're covered. Turn it into a New Year card. Here's a closer view of the Cheers to the Year stamp set. Is from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. Yesterday, the Holiday Catalog retiring list was released and the Cheers of the Year stamp set, along with a lot of other stamp sets and accessories, are being retired. So let me explain to you what that means. Okay, so all retiring accessories are available through January 2nd, 2018, or while supplies last. So that means they could run out any time. And that includes dies that have a coordinating stamp set. So if you see those on the list, you really want to get over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, to order those right away before they run out. Okay, now all retiring stamp sets, they're guaranteed to be available to order through December 21st, 2017. After that, they'll be available to January 2nd, 2018, if supplies last. So starting December 22nd, 2018, retiring stamp sets could also run out of supplies. So if you've got anything that you've been wanting from the holiday catalog, and if it's on that retiring list, just get over right away to my online store and pick that up. Okay, I wanted to show you something, point out something about the Cheers of the Year stamp set. We have these two circle images, you know, that are empty in the center. And that had always been a challenge with an image like this because the center would get full of ink. Well, Stampin' Up! has done something cool for us. They've die cut that center, but they left the rubber in there. You just pop it out. And I popped that out and looked at it I thought, huh. Look at this. We have a sun, a moon, or sometimes we just want polka dots. We want to keep this. And also keep this one. It's not a perfect circle, It's uh, but it's going to be really cool. And we're going to use it on our clean and simple Cheers to the Year card. So I've got some Whisper White cardstock, and we're going to start with the circle stamp, and we're going to use the Pool Party Classic Stampin' Pad ink. We're going to push, flip, lock that lid in place. Quick swipe on my stamping sleeve just in case I got ink on my hands opening that. All right, and so I want three of these in a row, and I find it a lot easier when you're doing anything in a row like that to start in the center. Makes your placement a lot easier. Okay, so we'll come up here. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Aren't these circles? They're just so much fun. All right, so we are done with that. So we're going to pull in the lip, flip, and click. All right, so next, here's that center to that stamp. And not at all a perfect circle. It's going to look so cute. So this time, we're going to use the Smoky Slate Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, there we go. And let's go ahead and put this in the center. Oh yeah, and it's not perfect and it's okay, and you'll see why in just a moment. And this is a whimsical card, so we're not looking for that kind of perfection. Okay, and next we're going to use Bermuda Bay, such a pretty color, push flip. Okay, and this large snowflake. Now we're going to connect our circles. I don't need to start in the center this time, because we're connecting the circles. We already know where they are. Alright, but... I did those first before going off the edge for my placement. We're going off the edge so it looks continuous. So a lot like wrapping paper. Whenever you cut wrapping paper, you cut it in half wherever it is. If Snoopy gets cut in half, oh well. It makes it look seamless. So that's why we go off the edge. So pull on that, click, click. And when you hear that click, you know it's shut and it's not going to dry out on you. And so then we have just one more, this small sm snowflake. And we're going to use this time the basic gray archival stamping pad. There we go. And now with small stamps, I don't know about you, I tend to be, if they're small, really fast. Well, I need to slow down and make sure I get a good image. Okay. 
I don't know what it is about small stamps. Become Speedy Gonzales. There we go. And look at that. Isn't that design cute? All right. And so we're. This is such a simple card. And I was looking at this thinking, oh my goodness, you could also use this for, you know, the winter birthdays. So this same card design, your choice, you could use for a Christmas card. I'm just um, demonstrating a New Year card or the winter birthdays. So what I have here is some basic gray cardstock for a little accent. Here we go. And that fast fuse, you need to use a light touch. I'll use it again and explain. I was so busy talking, I forgot to explain what I was doing. All right, so we're just going to place this here for placement. We're not going to adhere it yet. And I like to stamp on a flat surface. So we're going to open up the card, but that's where I'm going to want it when I'm done. And because I'm doing a New Year card, I'm going to use the Cheers to a New Year greeting. Okay, so back again with the basic gray archival stamp pad, push, flip. Okay, and let's ink this up. Because at this point, if I got ink on my card, I would just be beside myself, like, ugh. All right, make that straight. And we're stamping on color, so let's hold it down a little extra long so it's nice and deep. Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and close this. And like I said, at this point is where I seem to get the smudges. And so my stamping sleeves prevent that because they're just nice and convenient. So now let me explain the fast fuse adhesive. Put your finger where the ridges are, but you don't want to apply a lot of pressure. I don't naturally have a lot of pressure, but one of my stamping friends does, and I guess she pressed so hard that the, um, the tape all spooled up on her and it wasn't anything she could fix. So then just a little something to break it. It doesn't have to be dramatic, there's just a little something. If you don't, you get this hot stringy cheese. So once you get those two things down, you're going to love the hold of this adhesive. All right, so now let's go ahead and place this right here. So we've got a little bit of the pool party cardstock for our base peeking out over there. We've got our accent here pressed down and ugh. So I was really liking this and I thought, ooh, I would love to have a rhinestone on there in each of the center of the dark gray, the basic gray. And then they're like, oh, it can get even better because I can coordinate it. I have the pool party, the dark pool party Stampin' Blend. We're going to color the rhinestone to coordinate with everything. How cool is that? Okay, so right here on the sheet of the rhinestones, I want to use these small ones. We're going to color that. And this card, when you place your December 2017 Stampin' Up! order with me, this is the card I'm going to send you to say thank you. So 200, $250, oh, <laughs> $25 or more product order placed in my online store, and I'm going to send you one of my Cheers to the Year cards. Okay, look how quick that was to color those. And then to make life easier to pick them off of there and place them. I have my paper piercing tool. Here we go. And look at that. Oh, that's blue in the center. It turned out nice and soft. Oh, whoops, move over. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, the rhinestone would have been pretty, but oh, is that just the finishing touch or what that we can turn them into the color we want with our Stampin' Blends and still coordinate. That's what's so cool about Stampin' Up! All their color products coordinate. So the, uh, the cardstock and the ink pads and the accessories all coordinate together. And now we have the Stampin' Blends for, oh, well, for wonderful coloring. And you, know, you can pick them up one at a time. They come in light and dark. Or you can pick them up as a pair or my recommendation, the whole collection because you're going to love them. And there, look at what we have. Clean and simple. I mean, seriously, so quick and easy to make. And so you can whip these out after Christmas if you didn't get your Christmas cards done with a New Year card or and also send a New Year card. <laughs> and like I said, the same design. You could do this for Christmas. This could be a winter birthday or a quick and easy New Year card. If you'd like to make my clean and simple New Year card with the Cheers to the Year stamp set, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. Now remember, the Cheers to the Year stamp set, it's retiring. Guaranteed available only through December 21st, 2017. And then after that, 
through January 2nd or while supplies last, whichever comes first. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com to order the Cheers to the Year stamp set. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.